Hi again, everyone, and welcome to another season of Badger Breakdown. I'm Mike Lucas for UWBadgers.com. I'm joined by the voice of the Badgers, Matt LePay. All sorts of expectations, per usual, for the start of any season, but it's a little bit different this year with a new head coach and Gary Anderson. Yeah, there, there's an unknown. I think there would be, and probably most teams across the country, there would be a certain level of unknown, but I think there's a lot of intrigue here, and, and Gary Anderson throughout the course of the summer, probably ever since he got here in late December, is asked what would define a good season. I always liked his answer, but he's been very consistent with it. He wants the seniors to be able to walk out of here with all of their heads held high and, and knowing that they had a very good experience at Wisconsin. That maybe isn't the answer that every fan wants to hear. You want to say championships, X number of wins, but I, I think in our time of getting to know him, he's pretty real, and I think that's if that's a goal. That's not a bad one. That's not a bad place to start to be able to say your seniors in, a, in an era of, of transition can still walk out of here feeling pretty good about their experience in Wisconsin. Now, now fair or foul, Brett Bielma always felt that this team had the potential to be one of his very finest teams, largely due to all that experience, all those seniors. So maybe the parts are here. It's a matter of, of identifying them and, and getting them to fall into place. Yeah, I think that the leadership has a chance to be very good. And, and obviously, we say that from the outside looking in. But when you have a guy like a Chris Borland, you have a guy like Kurt Phillips. Well, let's see how this year unfolds for him. But, you know, a guy who's been around a long time now and who has dealt with a lot and has handled everything with such class, uh, you know, those are just a couple of examples right there. But I think this is a, a senior class of size and I think a senior class of substance. And, and there are question marks to be sure, but when you feel pretty good about that veteran class, that senior class, that, that, that isn't a bad place to start. Everybody wants to know what this team is going to look like on the field for the opener against UMass. Let's start with the offense. I think we can say with, with some reasonable certainty the Badgers are going to still run the ball with, with James White and Melvin Gordon. <laughs> James White, people, you know, are always, or maybe a lot of people are surprised when you tell them that he has the best yards per carry average in Wisconsin history. Um, now, does he carry the ball as many times as some of those other guys? No, but when you're averaging 6.1 per tote in a program that has had Monte Ball and Ron Dane and, and, you know, on down the line, we all know the list, James White has maybe somewhat quietly to some He's been really good. And Melvin Gordon, past Nebraska, uh, he can be really good too. And if, if it's Corey Clement, whoever that third uh, tailback is going to be, behind an offensive line that maybe isn't as deep in terms of scholarship players, well, definitely isn't as deep in terms of scholarship players as what Gary Anderson, TJ Woods, and, and anybody on this staff would want, there is some veteran experience there and guys who played a lot and guys who have been pretty good. Those tailbacks might have to morph into receivers, too, because if you don't have a lot of depth in the receiving core, one way to get the ball outside or down the field is throw to your backs. Yeah, absolutely, and Gary Anderson has talked about that, said it at media day here, uh, here today, earlier today, that you'll see James White and Melvin Gordon on the field at the same time. Uh, you know, we all know they have a lot of tight ends. We all know the question marks at, at wide receiver beyond Jared Abraderis, the position battles that will be going on there. But when you have guys like James White and Melvin Gordon, they can be dangerous in space. And it doesn't mean you just turn around and hand it to them. You can get it to them in different ways. As far as the quarterback goes, look, to be determined, to be continued. <laughs> and we'll leave it at that for now. On defense, though, there is a big transition from what people here have been very accustomed to seeing a 4-3 to now a different scheme and a 3-4. Yeah, and, and Gary Anderson has said you'll see a little of both, but you will see the 3-4. And I, I think he feels very confident, or at least feels very good, as good as you can at the beginning of a training camp, about the front seven. When you have guys like Bo Allen and Ethan Armstrong, Tyler Dipple, and you have guys like Borland and he likes guys like Brendan Kelly, what he can do outside in that 3-4 as an outside linebacker, I think he's, he's very encouraged, at, at least to the potential of that front seven, but certainly some position battles to, to uh, be waged here in that back end outside of Des Southward. The other safety spot, the two corners, that'll be an area to watch. I was pretty impressed with Gary Anderson in Chicago the Big Ten media days. He didn't resist when asked about Chris Borland, called him the best linebacker in the country. And, and he said that he did, yeah, and I think that, that may have turned a few heads. And yeah. people, I think, in this league who've covered this league know that he's good. Uh, but you go back to, to the third week in December when Gary was introduced to the, to the media and, and to the fans here in Wisconsin, who was the first guy he mentioned? Chris Borland. Uh, when they were preparing this time last year, when they were preparing through their non-conference slate 
out of Utah State, when you pop in some video of Wisconsin on defense, 44 stands out. Um, and fortunately, he's got another year to stand out as a Badger. I always get excited at this time of the year. Some different reasons why. I think we're all excited about seeing what this team is going to look like. Yeah, and no one I don't think is any more excited than, than Gary Anderson and <laughs> his players because you can, you can talk all you want, and Gary has made the tour of the state multiple times. And, and then Chicago last week going to ESPN earlier in the week. I think he, he's probably like every coach in America right now. He's, he's done previewing it. He wants to get his hands dirty and see what this team can do. For Matt LePay, I'm Mike Lucas. That's our Badger Breakdown. Thanks for watching UWBadgers.com.